they knew how to do it. And it wasn't that easy. But uh, yeah, I still have the system. I was one of the early members of that uh, system. I had to be registered and so forth. You had to get registered in the United States in order to use it. And once I uh, relayed messages from Antarctica from a Navy ship that was trying to rescue a, uh, another ship that had flipped over and they were trying to find it and they were trying to get a message through to Washington and they couldn't make the connection and I would relay it for them because I happened to have a very good clear day. I think it was in the fall, maybe early winter and it was crisp crystal clear. Yeah, those were uh, wonderful days and I was a registered member of that and, and, and radio system. It's called the International Radio Quad? No, there's an, I have to, to refresh my memory. There's oh, okay. a name for it. And you did have to register. And I was one of the first hundred or so people that registered. Was it, was it basically a radio phone? Is that how they called it? Yeah, it was a tele... I think they called it telecom or telecommunications. And it was by a phone. It was long before cell phones were, were out there. And I think I told you I even hooked up a small system on my love bug, my uh, Volkswagen Catmobile, uh, because I had... Between my chimneys at Alpine, at my house, which was about 80 feet apart, I had rigged up a system, and I ended up uh, with some help, uh, advice from a friend, uh, and the system worked. And I had it on my car, and I could make phone calls free of charge in four area codes, 212, 201, 203, and 914, and those were the big local area codes uh, that we had for New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, and Hudson Valley. Fascinating. And uh, always, I'd be in the car, and I had this <laughs> thing hooked up. Oh, that was wonderful. I know that, that machine. And then you could sleep people in it. And it had a little refrigerator and a small stove. It had a potty, and it slept five people. I told you, my wife and I, even in cold weather, we went up to the Adirondacks or the White Mountains. And we did rent a room in a motel, and our nanny and the two boys would stay in the motel. We would use the bathroom for the shower and the tub and so forth. But uh, instead of buying two rooms, because I'm a Scot, you know what a Scot is, right? I know a Scot. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and the cry, right? <laughs> and I was always watching, don't waste your time to your pennies. You remember John D. Rockefeller? I told you about those. Yeah, he gives, those away, the story. he gives away dimes because he saves his pennies. That's right. <laughs> I love that. I think, I think maybe I didn't. I think it was Lawrence that I would discuss. Oh, by the way, you know Lawrence's name is 